What's up, YouTube? This is Shavana Monroe Show, and today we're doing a how-to video for you guys. We're gonna teach you guys how to how to make your own homemade dip from Scrizap. You know, we got Mommy Dukes over there being wild. We trying to tell her be quiet in the video. <laughs> but anyway, yo. We love y'all. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. We're on our road to 13K, guys. We only got 15 more. 15 more of y'all showing that love. So spread it. And you know, hit, make sure y'all comment, like. Guys, right, so... Here's the ingredients that oh, you Oh, yeah. Need. Don't mind this. Don't mind that. I'm uploading. Don't mind that. <laughs> anyway, here's the in ingredients you need. Two bags. Mozzarella cheese. Well, you could pick any cheese you are comfortable with and with your preference, but that's what we like. Continue. One short cheddar. Mm hmm. Some Philadelphia cream cheese. cheese. You need two pans. If you're greedy, you know, or you could do one pan. And the sauce? The mild. It, you, it's up to you. It could be hot, mild. You know, not spicy. It's up to you guys. It doesn't man. have to be tortillas. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't have matter. to be. And you've got to get ground beef, or you can use ground turkey, ground chicken, anything you like. No matter what, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Here we go. What's good, guys? So the first step into this process is getting your foundation ready. The foundation is what makes the, the, the dip so good. This is the secret ingredient. Yeah. So, so much. My bad, guys. I'm coming, getting over a little, little, little cold. Sorry. So what you guys want to do is you want to make sure you have a spoon. You understand what I'm saying? You could use a knife. You know, it's your preference. I recommend a big, big scoops. It's easier to spread. Yeah, it's easier to spread. You're right, mom. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you spread. How the way you're spreading it, you're making sure you're not leaving it in one one place. You're trying to make sure you get it even in the corners, in the corners all over. All right. So we'll be right back, guys. So we back, guys. So this is how your bottom pan should be layered with the cream cheese. This is the foundation. This is what is important. I apologize, guy. We're, I mean, guys, we're working while we're working. Let's <laughs> let y'all know we real. We're working while we're working. Anyway, this is your foundation. Tune in. So the next step is cooking the ground beef, okay? So you put, we don't need to season it, trust me. I'm a seasoning person, and I'm telling y'all that I, I hate touching raw meat. I'm sorry, Ew, and I'm touching all this. Ugh, 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 this is mad ratchet. But you don't need to. You know, make sure y'all keep y'all flame on a, on, on a nice, nice summer. Medium. Keep it on medium. All you right. don't need to season it. You just need to wait for this to get brown. Make sure. Yeah, preheat your oven to 350. So, this is your ground beef. You want to break it up as much as possible. Okay, you don't want no big clumps in it. Sorry, that's a little overdone, but it's okay. Just basically just ground it up. Make it to little pieces. And then we'll show you what you do next with it. So, we transferred it from a pan to a pot. And now I forgot to tell you guys that we add pink beans. Goya pink beans. Did you wash the top off? Oh. I'm sorry. Make sure y'all wash your products. You know, you know, these cans be really old. So you want to make sure you're staying fresh and staying Check clean. Check the date too. Shit. You know, when you live with different people, especially old people like my mom, she likes to hold on to shit. <laughs> Excuse my language. You can use two cans if you want to, but... The I more mean, the beans, the more you're going to poop poop. I mean, hey, shit is good for you. Get all the bad shit out. Just mix it in, right? And you mix it in. Now, this, when you add the sauce, you have to add it in moderation. What the fuck does that mean? You want me to open it? Pop it. 
Hold it. I got it. Just hold this out here. Put it in. Teamwork, y'all. And a mess. Of an onion. Alright. So. You don't want the meat, you don't want the dip, the dip to be really watery. moist. Yeah, watery. You just want it to have this flavor in it. Can't be like, you don't want it to be watery and it just be, you know. One is good enough, I believe. You just let it simmer inside here, let it marinate. And mix it. All it's doing is just moisturizing the meat, basically, because your meat is already cooked, and you're just warming up your beans. That's all you're basically doing. You want to get everything up out of here, bro. Everything. So if you do add uh, another sauce, you have to really be mindful not to put, like maybe put, a, maybe put like a. a Two thirds of it, maybe, maybe one third. Like you don't want to put too much. You don't want to put so much because you want it to dry up. So while especially if you're making a small one. See, this is not just for one pan. This is for, for two. two pans. So if you're if you're if you're making one pan, you just use one. You don't even think you need. I don't even think you need a full. You one, don't actually. need a full. No, you don't. You don't. If you're making a, a one for yourself. Yeah. But me and Marell were fat, so we eat a whole one by That's ourselves. What happens when you smoke marijuana, guys? No, no, <laughs> not me. I'm just fat. So, we're so gonna, yeah. Now you're just gonna let it dry out a little bit. Let it sit there for a little bit. And a little bit. we'll be right back with the finished product. So guys, this is how your chip, so I'm sorry. This is how your dip should look. Your homemade dip. It should look not too dry, but dried. It shouldn't, when you when you scrape the bottom of the pan, I don't know if you guys are seeing, you see that it's not juicy. It's I'm scraping it, but it's not juicy down there. That's what you want. You want to make sure that thing is right. And I'm taking over because Siobhan can't, you know, hold the pan because the pan is hot. So we'll be What's right up, back. guys? So now... This is the fun part, evening it out. And when I even it out, I'm um, making sure that I'm putting it all even through. through Duh. Through. <laughs> when I even it out. I'm putting it. I'm uh, evening uh, it uh, out. Anyway, <laughs> Duh. You want to make sure it's even, you know. So why are you putting it in the middle? Cause I'm, I don't know, that's how I do it. So you want to make sure it's good because when you add your cheese on top and you put that bad boy inside the oven, you want to make sure that thing is perfect. Every scoop has is layered with every 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 different cheese, every 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 uh bean, every meat in your mouth. It got me watering. Okay, yeah, sound like you bought the anyway, on the shit too. We'll be right back. So guys, this is how it should look. Even we spread it out, looking very good. Every bite full packed with meat. Got your cream cheese. Got your cream cheese at the bottom. Got your got your Spanish beans. You feel me? So this is how it should look, y'all. Now we're about to add the cheese. The cheesy also. The mozzarella. The mozzarella. The mozzarella. We got to spread evenly. All right, guys. Evenly spreaded, like it. I can't gonna say that. We are gonna keep it PG thirteen. Not, not spreading the legs. Just in case, <laughs> just in case the kids want to learn how to make some homemade dip. dip. You gotta dip, baby, dip. All right, I like to just. We'll be right back. So this is how it should look. I put yellow looky, cheese looky, looky. because a little bit though because it's more salty. I tried it one time with a whole bunch of yellow cheese and I really didn't like it. It's too salty. So, mozzarella, yellow. Then you put the aluminum foil on the bad boy. Mm-hmm. That thing ready. Remember, this is the one we eat in. This is the one we say. Cook it, right? You're you going to eat a whole pan of it. If you and your significant other, or you and your party guests, or you and your family, y'all going to devour this thing, man. Because it's that good when you follow the steps correctly. All right? And make sure you guys let us know how it was. Comment that down below. Spam it up. Spam the likes. Spam the shares. Spam that mother effing subscribe button. You know? Peace. We love you. Before we oh, go, we're going to show you. That's why we told you guys to preheat the oven. 
So all you, you got to cook it. Yeah, you don't want to. That's it. You want to do? You just want to melt the cheese. What's up, guys? So here is the motherfucking finished product. Bada boom, bada bang. <laughs> it's a S and M thing, baby. You know we got that little tortilla. It's tortilla too. So we about to, we about to show y'all how our face is once we dive in this motherfucker. Dive in, girl. I'm about to dive in. Oh my god! Look at that shit. Look at that. Do y'all see that shit? Look at that. Oh my god! Look at that. Look, 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 look. She wet right now. She wet. I look at my face. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. When I mean that shit is so good. That shit is fucking. There's no yeah. words can even describe how good this is. Yeah. This is on another fucking level. We should be going in 15 minutes. <laughs> no, y'all don't even understand, man. But we just wanted to share that with you. We love you guys. We thank you guys so much for supporting us. More on the way. Lock in. Stay in tune. And hit that effing subscribe button, man. Spam them likes. Spam them comments. Spam them shares, man. We thank you. Peace and love. This is S&M. Till we meet again.